Thank you for joining me. Today we are talking about how to use perspective in our painting. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, here is an exciting new reason for you to subscribe now. From here on, I will publish three new learning videos every week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on Sunday, the reference image for the video that most viewed and commented, I will upload it on YouTube for my subscribers to download. How to subscribe? Click the subscribe button below this video. I will give you five seconds before we start the painting. You know, I use exclusively the brushes from Enjoying Art. Order yours today at enjoyingart.com brushes. When it comes to involved with perspective, there are two things involved in the process. The first thing is to analyze the perspective in the subject matter. The second thing is how to use the perspective in the process. Let's take a look. There's two point perspective. This side of the wall is joining together, get closer and closer as the farther and farther away. It's joining, there's a perspective over here. There's a vanishing point over here. And on this wall, the majority of this wall over here is going toward this side because all those height are the same. One is farther, farther away from the viewer, and it gets smaller and smaller and shorter and shorter and shorter. And they would join together in the second vanishing point on this side. So first analyze the first point. Okay, let's just put it good. And I'm going to extend one line, okay? And a uh, uh, one clear line. Okay, this is very clear. Now I'm going to extend this line all the way come down over here. Okay. And I'm going to take a look at another line. I'm going to use the line over here and the bottom of this wall like that. That's just good. I'm going to extend the line. And now you can see this two line across together. Extend it all the way. That's good. I'm going to extend this line. And now we see a point they cross together. This is the vanishing point. We call it VP1. And this point is going to share by every single line on this side of the wall including the line over here that parallel to this wall. Okay, also this line too, and this line as well. So we're going to double check if they are actually joined together. Let's see. If we're going to put this up over here through the vanishing point, that meet the, the angle of the line on the top over here. This is pretty good. And we are going to see the line over here on this wall and also joining into the same vanishing point as well as all the line on this wall on the siding. Okay. That take a look at this this line also joining together onto the same vanishing point right over there. That's just pretty good. I take a look of course this line on the top over here, this a little chimney and also joining into the same vanishing point. Very easy. And this line on this side also going to the same vanishing point. Looking at that, this is perfect, right? So now we understand how this is going to work. And let's take a look on this side. We're going to extend this line on the top over here and extend it all the way coming through all the way here. Okay. And then take a look at, uh, we're going to pick up a second line, maybe the bottom of the window here. Okay, that's good. Let's take a look at that, extend it all the way coming over here. Here you go. Now we find another vanishing point. And interesting enough, if this photo taking it a level and 
that is is the line we call the eye line. The eye line go through both vanishing point. Right away there, and this line also call a uh, horizon line. Okay, now all the line over here parallel to this wall. We're joining to this vanishing point. You see that? This is the top over here. It's going into the same vanishing point. And as well as the top over here. You can see that? All the way meeting the top over here. This is, should be very easy to understand. As well as all the line, like the every horizontal line on this window as well as the top window here, all those, and as well as the siding. They're all going to the same vanishing point. It's very easy to understand. I think that as any problem for anyone to understand when you, when you can identify their parallel lines. A group of parallel lines, they're parallel to each other. And we can find them, oh, where this is going to meet in their vanishing point. On this side, or on the other side, right? The next thing is how to use the logic or the principle of perspective on your watercolor painting. And now we're going to come to the drawing. Before you start using the perspective, we need to first figure it out the composition. Composition always come first. Now let's take a look where I'm going to put the building. Just the same way you do an apple or any still life or landscape painting or even portrait. Always think about how you use the paper, right? So I'm going to put these uh, buildings right here, maybe a little bit lower because I want the sky have a little bit more colorful. So I'm going to have it, say the bottom of the buildings right in here like that. Coming a little bit closer, a little bit bigger. And on this side, there will be the building like this, roughly. We're not using the perspective to uh, checking yet. So I'm going to have the corner of the building over here. Coming down like that, just do it roughly. And this side, coming up a little bit because this is higher than the eye line. Okay, here we go. Coming over here. And coming onto this side like this. So roughly uh, mark the location and this would be the second portion of this wall. And then coming over here, this is a one more portion. This cut it in half, right? That's about right here. And then we're gonna add a little bit more onto this side, like that. This is good, and have a little bit over here divided as about about one third. Okay, from here, always think about measuring and or imagining how that is going to come together. Okay, proportion, proportion. Okay, they're coming up over here like this. Look at roughly what the angle would be. Okay, coming down over here like this, and we don't know exactly where the vanishing point yet. We're going to make it up or we're going to base on our observation. Okay, so this wall maybe coming up a little bit like that. And here you go, something over here. Okay, and here you go. So have a little bit exciting coming over here at the front. Okay, coming on to this side and this obviously is not going to be very flat. It's coming up like that. So here and the distance, we can add a little bit mountain, the tree like that, and make it dress up to make it look nice. Okay, coming on to this side, as well as I have a little bit tree, even have mountain over there, like that on this side. This is good. You can dress it up however you want, right? Okay. And there's also a window over here. It's about this height. Okay. Like this, coming down over here, roughly. And about 
And doesn't matter how careful you are going to draw and analyze. Okay, you got to use the rules to go by it. Okay, if you just about guessing it, it may not gonna get it right. So that is why the perspective, is very very helpful. So okay, now we already have this. So something we can are uh, making sure that we know that right in this point, this is gonna be connected left side and the right side, right over there, and this is the bottom of it. This is the uh the line on the bottom of the siding. And coming on to the other, the other side, and we're gonna just mark it up. Which is the let's take a look at the vanishing point onto this side. Okay, so we're gonna take a look, and we're gonna take it from here, coming down. We're gonna make it up this angle. Depends how close you're standing to the building. Okay, if when you get a little bit closer, the line more dramatic. So I'm gonna have this coming down over here. So you can decide how far you want it, and the bottom line is going up. That going up a little bit, and that means like the the horizon line, also the eye line, would be a little bit higher than this. If like for example over here, this is way higher than the、uh, horizon line, so or the eye line. So so this is going down, and any line. Lower than the eye line, it was going up. So we're gonna make this going up a little bit, and like this, that will be fine. And just a little bit lower than that. So when we make it up, this this will be the vanishing point right over there. Okay. Now we also can draw a horizontal line from the left, from the right side of the paper over here. Go all the way to the other side. Okay, this is horizon line would be shared by the entire drawing. Okay, like this. Okay, now we actually want the horizon. The vanishing point is at the edge of the paper over here. If you decide this is will be the second vanishing point, what you can do, and、uh, you are going to soften this. A little bit. We already know the location. Okay, so we can just gonna modify the angle. So let's see. This would extend it going up. So this point is gonna stay there. Okay, I'm gonna have this all the way going up to the corner over there, as well as the top over here is going up to the corner over there. And like this, it will be the angle will be a little bit different because I decided to walk closer to the building. So now we're gonna draw this line going into this vanishing point because of this wall on this side. This one is parallel to this line. Okay, this is pretty good. Now I'm gonna draw a little bit line coming down over here. Now here you go, like that. Draw the line coming down vertical. Okay, so also going to draw the vertical line right here as well. Okay, here you go. As as long as you make it logical, so that will be fine. I'm going to have this also going to the vanishing point over there from the corner over here. Now here we go. This line need to go through this vanishing point. Okay, like that. This vanishing point, and we're gonna go from here going up. Here you go. Like that. That's just pretty good. Now the rest will become pretty simple as soon as, as soon as we decide on that. And now I'm gonna change it to、uh, the marker. I'm gonna use the marker to draw the line before we do the、uh, watercolor painting. That a little bit softer. Okay, this is good. Now I'm gonna come to using the marker, and 
I'm going to uh, first draw the vertical line. I'm going to have this vertical line, this wall, a little bit closer in. So I'm going to draw that right here. Like this. This is good. That's very clear. And I'm also going to draw this vertical line. I'm going to block it in over here. Okay, this is good. And can going up over here. Going down right there. This is pretty good. And then I'm going to draw first this is vanishing point over here. I'm going to put a mark over here. Yes, it's right there. And I'm going to draw from this line and going up. I'm going to have this through this line. If you decide you can make it a little bit higher, taller, shorter, this totally up to you. I'm going to have this going down and like this. Here we go. Now I'm going to have this down right here. Like that. This is pretty good. And I can erase the pencil mark in the middle over here. That will be fine. Like that. This is pretty good. Now we're going to decide on from the vanishing point over here going up right there. This wall. Here we go. Now connect it there. That's is good. Now I'm going to draw the vertical line for the corner of the building. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to have it a little bit lower. I'm going to have this a little bit lower all the way down over here. If I decided to, I can make it even, even lower. As long as the vanishing point of perspective connection, they are the same. Okay, this is good. Now I'm going to draw this long line. Keep in mind, this vanishing point is sitting right here. Okay, and don't uh, lose the sight of the vanishing point. I'm going to have it here, all the way came, all the way coming here. Here you go, coming over here all the way up to the corner. That's perfect. Like that. Now we're going to have the wall coming back a little bit. I may be coming in a little bit more if you want to. I'm going to double check on that. I'm going to have this coming in a little bit more deeper. Okay. This is good. Now I'm going to come in down this way, vertical. And here you go. Have the vertical line coming from here all the way down. It may be a good idea to draw the footer by now. So I'm going to make the bottom of the wall, okay, and on the, I'm very much the ground level is also parallel to the to the top line, and some ground they are not exactly level. The some is a little bit higher, a little bit lower, depends on the street, right? So I'm going to make this to be the same. So I'm going to have this corner all the way coming to the front of the building. So I'm going to have that from here all the way on this wall, all the way here. And as well as going to front of the building, right over here, like that. That's good. And But this wall a little bit different. This wall is going to uh, turn a little bit more that direction. Basically, this actually going to that vanishing point supposed to be. Okay, this is good. And now I'm going to get all the key point there. So I'm going to have this vertical. Okay, this is going to be a fun, different kind of uh, project. So I'm going to come in down over here. This is good. All right. And this is good. And also I'm going to mark this gap on this wall to be here. And I'm going to have it from here down all the way put it close to the ground, not at the ground level. Okay. So I'm going to figure out the bottom over here. So I'm going to mark it on this side. The gap, the distance from that wall will be here. So I going through the vanishing points, just following me to see whether or not how much you get it, how much you miss. Okay, I'm going to have this all the way 
connecting to that vanishing point. So I'm going to have this a little bit, a little bit close to the left. This is good, like this. And going up about here. Okay, this is good. Let's take a look at the top. You see this top line also parallel to the top, right? Which is going to go into the same vanishing point. I'm going to take a look at it here. Oh, this is good. This top of the window. I'm going to have the top of the window right in here. Okay. That's good. Connect that too. Okay. We're going to have uh, two lines on the top over here going through. Make sure you go through the same vanishing point. And it's very important. Going down over here, I'm going to have one that is the and the pop out right here. Good. That's one. I'm going to go through this same vanishing point. I'm going to have this pop out right here. That's good. Like that. Okay. That's on this side. What about the other side? And it's going to land it here. And where is this side? And making sure this side is parallel to this wall, right? Be patient. And we're going to come to, to connect to this vanishing point right over here, right? So this is good. I'm going to have that up over here. And going down. This is good. And the second line. Every line I have to go through that vanishing point. If it belongs to that group of parallel. Okay, like that. This is good. And the bottom over here also. And uh, this line, right, going to that vanishing point. Just go through, analyze it carefully. I'm going to come in over here. Okay, but this line is parallel to this wall. Okay, and go through this. That's good, like that, and right over there. That's perfect. Okay, so there are four vertical lines, and so we can do one, two, three, four, but they're not the same width because this side closer to us, this side is farther away from us. So we're going to put a little mark over here, like a one, two, and going a little bit more onto the left side, three, four. So a little bit wider, shorter, and shorter. Okay, that's just good. We're going to do that, the first line, pretty good. And we're going to have making sure it's vertical. Okay, that's good, right here. And second, and a little bit smaller, a little bit tiny, tiny smaller. And here we go. Like that. And there will be number three, will be right here. And the four. Yeah. Gradually get a little bit smaller. Okay, this is good. And we can see a little reflection on this side. And we also can mark it. There is a two line over here. If there's two line, and this two line also going to the same vanishing point over there. This is good. Very important. Go by their logic. Okay, here we go. One over here. And one here. Wonderful. That's just good. Now we're going to keep going. Uh, how about the top line over here and going into the same vanishing point. You have to check the vanishing point. No exception. You have to go with the vanishing point. Okay. Okay. All the way here. Right here. Okay. This is good. And we're going to take a look at on this side, going to this vanishing point for this line. Okay. All 
the way connect to the to the roof and this went this line also go into this vanishing point okay here we go like that okay that's good now this line and in the shadow you may not see it clearly that it should go into this vanishing point and that is good and actually a little bit softer line over there also extended also should be going to continue on this line okay like that it should be continue over there and we can draw a little bit uh, vertical line coming down over here all the way down this is good and the door over here looks this is the door this door also need to go down to this vanishing point there we go like that and coming over here vertical yeah, it's just not difficult. The difficult is you need to uh, aware of those. You need to do more practice and it will be fine like that. It's going in over here and seeing that that's a little, it is a little bit too low. So I'm going to have this a little bit uneven coming over here like that. This is good. And some of there a little bit sand coming on this side. You can make this go into the same vanishing point over here, assuming this is parallel to the building. So I'm going to have this going up a little bit like that. Okay, here you go. Like that. That's pretty good. All right. Now we did do this vertical line. Here we go. I'm going to do this vertical line. Okay, and then there is some wall over here and it's going to go into here, right? And so this is kind of really see much. It's is very much in the shadow. Um, so you can see uh, this is going to be, uh, there's a wall like that, going into that. So this can be, this also lower everything. So this structure is not exactly look like the way it is over there. So this is, can be this line. If there's a line over here, it should go into this vanishing point. So now let's uh, make sense of that. So I'm going to have that coming over here. Okay. But somehow this is a lot higher. So what are we going to do with this? I'm going to lower that part. So in that case, what you can do is go into the same vanishing point like that. In that case, I'm going to lower that as well. So I'm going to have that connect to maybe even, even have a little gap on this side. So this is going to be lower than that. So I'm going to have this going a little bit lower. And from here going up. Now you make it more, a lot more bigger. And this is good. And we're going to go with it. I'm going to have fun with this. Like that. This is good. I extend a little bit more. And this is good. We're going to have a little, little depth over here. Okay, on this side should be going to this vanishing point on this everything check. Okay, this is good. All right, I'm going to do there's something over here. I'm going to just only do one. So I'm going to do one over here, one on this side. It's about this depth. Okay, this out and this side should go into this vanishing point. I'm going to go with this first and go with this vanishing point and how long how how long is it going to be i'm going to just coming over here that's good i'm going to have this a little bit thicker i'm going to make sure that go through the middle of this vanishing point okay that's good 
Okay, that's is the draw a little vertical line. Now on this side, go into that vanishing point. Okay, it's very easy to understand. Keep in mind, it just have to go through all the checking. Okay, it's very important. Okay, that's looking that vanishing point. Make sure you go through it. Okay, that's good. And the bottom over here also need to go through this here. And then the other line go through this vanishing point. Okay, like that. That's good. We're getting it, right? Now we're going to take a look at the bottom. And this is the bottom. We have this all the way going here, all the way to the end of the wall. And you see the bottom over here, the bottom of ceiling, I'm going to make it a little bit lower. So I'm going to have it from here all the way there. And all the way here. And then on the other side, like that. And this also connect to this finishing point on this side. On this wall, I'm going to have this all the way here. Okay, this is pretty good. I'm going to have a little bit thicker line. A little bit thicker line. This is good. And if you decide to add anything else, like over here, oh, I'm going to have this. I want to have a little bit taller than on the, over here. I'm going to have this side go into this direction. Look, go through this vanishing point. This is good. I'm going to have a little bit over here. Like that. This is good. On this side, going to this vanishing point. Okay. Hopefully, you're not getting dizzy so easily. Okay, here you go. That's good. I'm going to do a little vertical line and finish this shape. Like that. That's good. All right. I'm going to skip the sign here. Okay. But I do want to have this have a little bit uh, brown color, uh, a little high over here, aligned with the door. In that case, I'm going to have uh, going this wall parallel to this side. So you need to go through to this vanishing point. Yeah, like that. Okay, that's good. Okay. And the other side. And this probably should be a little bit higher. Okay, a little bit higher then. So I'm going to have the door also a little bit higher. So this door needs to go to this vanishing point because on this wall, on this side, I'm going to have this a little bit higher than all the way up over here. Okay, that's good. Right there. Okay, draw, redraw the line. So it's okay. We can paint it on it. We can add a little bit darker color. You won't even see that line. Okay, that will be fine. And then on this wall, we're going to draw a little bit line over here, a little bit higher like that. Okay, right there. Right over here. Okay, and another. That's good. Okay, we're going to mark all those lines. Okay, that's good. Mark it right over here. And then, how many of them? Okay, I'm going to have it from here. I get a little bit wider and wider. And four is, could be just fine. I'm going to have a vertical line coming down like this as well. Okay, like that. Whoop. Draw something on it. Okay, that's good. Another line coming over here. Okay, that's just good. All right. Now I'm going to draw the shape over here. Have that coming. And this line can also come from.
because this line could be parallel with the building, right? So I'm gonna have it over here, like that, coming over here. And another line also coming out from this vanishing point. I'm going to have something over here, the front coming over here. And on the other side, I'm going to let it connect into this vanishing point. Okay. So it may not be that way and not everything looks like the same. They're coming all the way over here to the end of it and end over there. This is fine. Now I'm gonna draw a little curve over here. And here you go, like that. And all the way over here, go into that. And here you go. Coming a little bit curve over here, like that. That's pretty good. I'm gonna have a little bit, there's a little bit more coming here, like that. Okay, this is pretty good. I'm gonna remove some of those, those are simple items. So I'm gonna just draw a little bit shape over here. This is the uh, horizon line. So I'm gonna have that a little bit and the mountain on the other side like that. Okay, so this perspective drawing is already done. Now next, I'm gonna start the watercolor painting. First, I'm going to paint the sky. Yeah, take a look at. I'm going to use the green shade blue color, which is the um, present blue, what I have here. Okay. Just use the blue color coming down over here like this. You lose a little bit more water. Maybe the top, I'm going to have a little bit, a lot more blue color. Okay, a lot more. Okay, blue color. Okay, here you go, like that. Yeah, this is good. I'm gonna have the air the movement and seeing that the blue color coming this way. And I'm going to have a little bit lighter. I'm also gonna change the color. Maybe have a little bit more colorful, have a little bit more red at the bottom, right? I'm gonna have this going through here. And take a look at right here, going through that. And here you go. We don't have to have it very accurate. Okay, coming through over here at the top, over here like that. And here you go. And going to the top over here, coming down over here. And here you go. That's the sky. Okay, that's good. I take the color, the excess, excess wet. Take it out and coming over here. Okay, this is good. And we're gonna have it just a little, make it a little light at the bottom over here. Okay, just wash it off a little bit. So this paper actually is a pretty good quality. And when you paint a little bit more with it and get used to the personality of it, and it actually pretty good. Give it a try, it's 100% cotton paper, that's good. And the bottom over here, I'm gonna just have a little bit tiny, tiny red color. So like make it more like the evening or morning feeling. So have it a little bit more onto this side. And here you go, a little bit more like that. That's fine. Looks just pretty good. And also going to do a little lifting like that. A couple lifting. And seeing that the little movement, like the cloud or something. So making sure you remove all the wet when you do that. So it's not applied more wet into it. But this is good. I'm gonna go into the same direction like this. And a little same direction that it's pretty good okay I'm gonna come back to give a little bit distance and in this case I'm gonna use a little bit more uh, brown purplish color so I'm gonna have that 
and start from the, the distance i'm going to have a little bit more bluish color so i don't want it to have so bright but when it get closer and closer and we're going to have a little bit uh, brighter color so i'm going to have there a little bit more a little bit brighter brown color like this yeah here you go get a little bit yellow a little bit more brown when you get a little bit closer i'm going to remove the type just for this painting but if you have fun with the perspective you can also uh, add that challenge if you want to so i'm going to have a little bit more blue color so it looks like a little bit too bright i'm going to have this coming over here as well that's good yeah coming on this is pretty good. I'm gonna have a little bit red over here too. If I want to change the color. Okay. And this is pretty good. I'm gonna have that a little bit more blue. Got more blue right here. I'm gonna also pointing from the uh, vanishing point over there all the way from there. Going from there going out. From there going out like that always coming from the vanishing point and then make it more sense okay i'm gonna have even darker okay right here and also when i draw this line i draw it from or to with the vanishing point okay over there always going through if that line i make it a little bit more connected parallel to the building okay this is good and don't forget something else waiting for us to do. I'm going to soften this a little bit. This is a little bit way too much. And I'm going to light up a little bit more. I don't want the darkest color on the road so much. I can light it up, take it away. That's good. All right. And guess what? I'm going to doing that. Give a little splash on the roll. I don't want that too much. Uh, flat color so that like that that's good like that okay make that a little bit softer over there in the distance this is fine this guy already drives so no need to worry about now i'm going to use the click brush coming back over here just to you a little bit yellow and make a little bit lighter like a brown color over here i'm going to put that over here from a little distance right here and a little bit yellow and that's good coming over so also see a little bit yellow color orange color coming to the front of the the house okay like that that's okay we're coming on to this side and then we're going to make a try to make it a little bit more dramatic um, i'm going to put this color right in here okay that's a little bit darker so i can put this color here too don't worry about too much. Hey, okay. like that, be a little bit relaxing. Now, the lighting. Uh, we're going to make this side to be the light side. So I'm, we're going to make the, the light a little bit stronger on this side, on this angle, okay, this direction. So I'm going to make this wall a little bit darker and, and also have some catch the shadow on this side. Let's do a little bit to the distance first and what season is going to be i'm going to keep it as a little bit more like uh, cooler okay i'm going to have that a little bit more blue have a little bit red so more like a little bit gray in the distance so what we're going to do and not making it too too uh close a little bit more like see a little bit tree over here like that <laughs> A little bit more something over there. That's just good. Like that. Make it a little bit simple. Now also the same thing over here on this side. So we can have a little bit more like that. A little bit shape. A little cone shape. I'll make it look feel like a tree. Okay. Like that. Over here too. Okay. That's good. Put a few line. That's just good enough. That's the distance. We move a little bit over there. Now, okay. Now we're gonna come to 
make the wall on the on the light side. Let's take a look at. We're gonna have just a little bit more, like, it's a little bit lighter. This is like a yellow, very light yellow green color. I'm gonna put it over here. Okay, that's good. That's the light side. I'm gonna put the other side, and the wall next to it is a little bit darker. Okay, get some inspiration from this. I'm gonna have this wall as well as the top over here. A little bit darker, a little bit brownish color. Okay, that's good. Coming down over here. And the bottom over here. I'm gonna make it just a little bit darker. Coming down over here. Okay, right here. That's the bottom. That's good. That's on this side. Okay. Here you go. That's good. And I'm going to make this even darker. So I can make the whole thing a little bit darker. And also this wall. And it can be even darker. So I'm going to put this color. And I'm going to have a little bit red. A little bit blue. Oh, that's too much blue. More red. Okay, here you go. Like that. We're going to have this. A little bit darker, right over there, a little bit closer. Okay, it's definitely too dark. So light it up a little bit. Okay, now here we can lift up this excess wet and soften that a little bit. That's good, like that. Okay. Now I'm going to walk into here and first on the light shape, the light side, I'm going to put this color right in here. That's the light side of the wall. Okay, that's good. Like that. It's a great to actually have this marker line. So you don't need to worry too much about the clarity. So you have used that as a part of the artwork okay this is good and the next thing and a uh, little bit dark over here and we're gonna have this wall a little bit cooler so I'm gonna use this color first and next to it it's a little bit soft to continue that's fine come in here like this and take a look on this wall And it's going to be darker. It's the shadow side. I'm going to put this color right here. And maybe from here, I'm going to start adding even darker. I'm going to have this a lot darker. So I need to use a little bit thicker color. Okay. The red and the blue color. Here you go. A little bit more blue. That's good. Now we're going to do it right in here. that that's good be a little bit careful and here you go like this that's good meet the line and this is the cast shadow that's gonna be okay coming down over here Okay, it's gonna be very fun. Okay, like that. Now I'm gonna have this carefully connect the line up over here. I think the wall is should be already drive. So just coming over. That's good. And when you come here. And it's going to be very softly connected because this is also the shadow. I'm going to put also put the darker color over here on the door. Coming like that. Okay, this is good. Now I use the small uh, flat brush look of this brush 
Oh, so this is very soft as well. And I can softly just using the little water and let it coming down like this. Okay. And on this side, this wall, I'm going to have it a little bit darker. Just, just give it a little bit darker than that. That's the shadow side, like that. That's good. And we're also going to put a little mark over here, a little mark over here. There's something going on over there. And I'm going to light up a little bit over here. This is the lighter side. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty nice. So I'm going to also softer over here. Okay, like that. Okay. Now come to the other side. On this wall, I'm going to make it a lot darker on this side. So I'm going to create a stronger light source. Okay, like that. This a little bit darker. Okay, it can be a little bit darker. That's there. Okay, now I'm gonna see the catch the shadow going out here. And this also go into the same vanishing point, the catch the shadow right over there. So we're going to catch the shadow like this. Okay, going out over there and have this also a little bit longer. And the edge also pointing to the same vanishing point. Like that, that would make sense. Okay, this is good. Okay. And let's take a look. After the drive, we're going to put a little bit darker color into that. But right now, I'm going to have a little bit of reflection. And the front windows have a little bit more blue color right there. Okay, right here. Right over here. This is good. Now I'm going to have a little bit darker. Get a little bit blue. And this is pretty dark. I'm going to have this too much water. So I have a, a little bit thicker color. There you go. Like that. Have a little bit blue. That's good. Got a lot darker. And showing that the reflection of the object on this side. Okay, here you go. I'm going to add this coming down over here like that. Here we go. The bottom over here. Look at the line. It helps us to connect. Okay, this is good. Like that. A little bit softer. Like that. Okay, that looks like a very interesting um, reflection. <laughs> now, I'm going to also make the top a little bit here, a little bit different color. So right here. But on the other side, it needs to be darker because that's the cast shadow. But we're going to wait until we drive before we come back and take a look. That take a look at right here. This bar and the bottom. Okay. And the other side needs to be darker. Okay, a little bit darker. Just get a little bit thicker color. Give a look darker right there. And also there's a catch the shadow supposed to be because that will be the same as the other side. Okay, have a little bit cast shadow. Okay, on this wall, like that. Like that, that's just good. Even a little bit longer. Okay, like that. And this is good. Now the top over there 
I don't need that much uh, liquid. So get a little bit, just a little bit thicker color. And put it in here. Because this whole thing is in the shadow wall. So you won't see the catch the shadow. I'm going to have this. It's a little bit darker coming down like this. Okay, here you go. I'm going to make it a little bit more interesting by down over here. I have just a little bit lighter. I'm going to have a little bit lighter. Continue coming down like that. This is pretty interesting. Okay, and the bottom over here also going to make it a little bit different because it's supposed to be a little bit darker. Okay. And this is good. We're going to have a little bit doll over here like that. A little texture. That's good. Okay. Now do one more round on the front over here. Make it a little bit darker. A little bit. Coming up. That's good. And every line always going toward that vanishing point. Okay, when it's some point over there. Okay, like that. Give it moving toward that vanishing point. This is good. Hey, this is good. Give it a little bit texture here. Okay, now we're gonna have a little bit nice brown color, like the mouch or something. Okay, I'm gonna have that. A little bit in here and also pointing to that vanishing point okay like that going over here I think that can be a little bit cooler okay here you go like that coming here all the way to the other side okay this is good and we're gonna just draw a little thin line over here, like that. Okay, here you go. Let's see. Also, a bit gonna be consistently have some reflection. Okay, right here. I'm gonna have that a little bit consistent, a little bit more blue. Right over here, like that going to that because we decided to add the light right have a little bit more this is good so we're gonna call this a little bit sketch with uh, the marker and the watercolor wash uh, in my wood perspective okay Hopefully you have fun. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay, that's good. That. A little bit darker, a little bit closer. Okay, a little bit over here too, like that. Okay. A little bit mark. That's good. Create a little bit more interesting shape. And the top over here. Okay, that's need to kill that little bit shape. Okay, and don't forget this side. Also a little bit darker. This a little bit wall. Like that. That's pretty good. And that, and there's also another something else over here. At the bottom over here, can deserve even a little bit darker for the cast shadow. Okay, have fun. If you also like oil painting, you can see how I paint this in another YouTube channel. The link in the description. I will see you in my next video.